We will now demonstrate how to inflate the Digital Starlab Dome. The Digital Dome is recommended for use with all digital projection systems. The optimized surface is shine-free, which allows even the brightest digital dome shows to be viewed without glare. The dome features self-regulated outlet vents in the front, which open up for through circulation when the dome is fully inflated, and automatically close if the dome loses air when a group exits. The air inlet from the fan is forked, part to inflate the doorway and part that goes directly into the dome near the doorway to provide efficient air circulation inside the dome. First, unzip the duffel bag and remove the dome. Second, start unrolling the dome across the floor where you're planning to set it up. As you unroll it, spread out the materials so that you can identify the entrance and inflation tubes. Once the dome has been completely unrolled and spread out, turn it so that the two tunnels are in the positions that you have pre-selected. When moving the deflated dome, try to minimize the amount that it is dragged across the floor. Dragging the dome can cause small holes to develop in the fabric. After the dome has been properly oriented, remove the fan from its carrying case and plug it in. The fan can either be plugged directly into the wall or into a heavy-duty extension cord. Make sure that no one will accidentally unplug the fan cord while the dome is in use. Begin connecting the fan by sliding the inflation tube over the lip on the edge of the fan. Secure the Velcro tightly and then double strap with a bungee cord. After the fan has been secured to the dome, turn it on high. As the dome begins to inflate, walk around lifting it slightly until it starts to take a circular shape. Make sure the inflation tube is not twisted or folded and that the edge of the fabric inside the dome is completely flat against the floor. You may want to hold up the entrance door to help speed inflation. Once the dome is completely inflated, the entrance tube will close automatically. When the dome is fully inflated, it may begin lifting off the floor slightly. The digital dome has two Velcro flaps on the bottom and rear of the dome. These may be adjusted to regulate airflow out of the dome and to prevent bouncing due to overinflation. Because the Starlab dome is an air-supported structure, leaving the door open for an extended period of time will cause the dome to begin to deflate. As a result, it's necessary to have visitors enter the dome in a controlled fashion. Visitors should be instructed to enter and exit the dome in single file, one at a time. It is easiest to enter through the two-stage airlock sideways. The bottom of the door is connected to the doorway skirt with Velcro. This can be separated and extended open to allow larger or handicapped people easier access to the digital star lab. Have the last person entering the dome turn the fan down to medium. Do not allow children to be inside the dome unsupervised. Once inside the dome, visitors should be instructed to sit on the floor on the edge of the fabric in a circle. They should not lean back on the dome fabric because it might cause the dome to be pulled down or rock excessively. Nobody should sit on the space directly in front of the fan opening, nor should anyone enter the inflation tube. When it is time to exit the dome, visitors should exit single file, being careful not to trip over the fabric at the end of the entrance tunnel when they leave. When people are exiting the dome, the fan should be on high. Because of its unique design, the Star Lab can accommodate visitors who are restricted to wheelchairs, have walkers, or are otherwise physically challenged. Instead of having these individuals use the entrance tunnel, they can enter and exit the planetarium by going in and out under the edge of the dome. To do this, you will need a second person to assist you. Individuals who are physically challenged should be brought into the dome before the rest of the visitors. Begin by turning up the fan to the highest setting so that the Starlab dome becomes overinflated and starts lifting off the floor. Maneuver the individual to the side of the planetarium directly opposite the point where the entrance and inflation tubes attach to the dome. With the help of a second person, lift the side of the Starlab and roll the person in the wheelchair under the material towards the center of the dome. Drop the side of the dome back down behind the person and allow the dome to reinflate. Once the dome has fully reinflated, have the rest of the participants enter the dome through the entrance tunnel, making sure to keep the entrance tunnel clear. Have the last person entering the Star Lab turn the fan back down to medium. When the program is over, allow the rest of the group to leave via the entrance tunnel and then remove the person in the wheelchair the same way that you brought them in.